I'm not sure how Waterloo Center became so special to me. I mean, definitely the quaintness of the place, the hustle and bustle of the streets, but you can still feel chill when you're like over there, you know? There's a lot of like great food places there. There's a lot of memories around that place for me. My wife and I even picked that location to be our pre-wedding photo shoot. So for today's video, I would like to share with you 22 of my favorite photographs from my last photo session at Waterloo Center. No matter how many times I go there, I will never get sick of that place, you know. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my channel again. Hope you all are doing great as ever. And I hope I'm not too late to wish y'all a happy new year. Before we proceed, uh, I would like to share y'all a contact sheet of all the selected photos from my last Waterloo Center session, photo session. There's a total of 22 photographs. Uh, it's a, it was supposed to be 10 lah. But, you know, cutting down from like a thousand photos to like a few hundreds, then down to like a certain number of like, I think 70 or 50 was damn hard. So, I told myself, never mind, let's have 22 at least for now. I mean, all of us have our own intention or purpose or direction when we take our photos, right? But for me, at least for this particular video, first and foremost, cause it's digital, right? Secondly, the idea of introducing Waterloo Center to y'all was always at the back of my mind. It's like every single detail I want to share with y'all, you know, like, you know, like that is the place that I like to eat with my friends you know everything you know like like even the surrounding areas you know the museum the, the but end up I so called put them aside I just chose something simpler I, I don't know I will share with you guys later on but do not fret um follow me on Instagram I will post some of those photos that didn't make it into this video so without further ado let's get to it okay for our first photo here as you can see i'm trying to take a photo across the street of that guy in white walking to show a little bit of life here in waterloo center but i was telling myself that maybe i wait for something blue to complement with the blue accent and the warm walls and the car that just passed by somewhat inspires me to get some kind of motion blur in my photos so slow my shutter speed down and just fit ah i guess i was lucky to have a blue lorry just pass me by okay let's continue to the second photo as i was walking down i saw this bunch of boxes uh seems like they were left there intentionally i find it interesting so why not just take a photo of it and maybe give a certain information on whoever is looking at the photo where waterloo center is located at you can see from the photo there's a church and boogies plus at the back rather if i were to take from the opposite side where you know it's just white and gray black tall buildings can't really tell much though okay next photo i've been to waterloo center for so many times and i have some idea of where are the nice spots for me to take photo of and one of my favorite spot is definitely this place where i could get a dark silhouette shot if anyone would pass by so i saw a guy and i snapped so yeah hmm maybe i should make the shadow more darker okay let's move on so in this photo it's very simple just want to tell uh, that there's upgrading works going on in waterloo center 
and I saw an opportunity of like a frame in a frame kind of thing so there's a guy working in between of the frame there and yeah I just snap as you can see here you know there's a bicycle shop still operating behind these barriers so yeah okay this next photo I'm able to get a frame in frame kind of shot again and I swear that I did not follow or tailgate that guy in stripe that guy is that silhouette figure which I shot previously and yeah so as you can see here he sits nicely on the right frame it's like a, that, that square is like a frame within a frame and then on the left side you can see there's a very I'm like imagining if there's a lot of action going on on the left frame like maybe somebody fighting or quarreling or I don't know rather than just a white van and a man right kind of staring at me or the guy in stripe but it's okay it's nice aesthetic okay next okay so i was taking the stairs up to the second floor then as i looked down i saw this ground level with a lot of textures going on so i saw that lady was walking there maybe i tried to get some shots here and there you know when i take this photo in my head it's like there's a lot of textures here you know like as if like when you touch this photo you you can feel the textures on your fingertips but what the hell am i talking about because this is a digital photo <sighs> i'm sorry let's proceed <laughs> So looking out towards the main road, I saw a man sitting on the curb playing with his phone. Nothing interesting, but I just want to get that framing where, as you can see here, that drainage or that long car actually provide a focus point for me to look at him. Yes. I'm sorry, there's nothing interesting here except for that car, the white car at the top left of the frame <sighs> let's move on so i was walking on the second floor and i hear this loud conversation going on so i keep pulling out a bit to see what's on my left side and i look down and i saw these two guys i don't know they were discussing or they were just talking but yeah it, it turned out nice because of their brown and yellow top and every they are surrounded by construction thing i think see as you can see here i think they are making another stairwell or it's just a temporary for the workers there but yeah let's move on i actually went back down so that i could take the lift up to level five as I was walking, I saw this guy in white in the shadows. I don't know, I just love the aesthetic here. The guy in white standing in front of the shadows looking out or maybe he's looking at me. I'm not too sure. But yeah, sometimes when I take photos, it's purely aesthetics. And sometimes it end up being my mood board for my future projects, be it for photography or for films. Just love it, you know. No, no seven floor, yeah? No seven floor, only nine. Look at the one down. Go down, or either five, it won't go out. No, 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 it won't go. I own man. Oh, it's the lift, not every level. Yeah, now upgrade ready. Yeah, the upgrade one got every level. <laughs> so yeah that was my brief moment with the guy in white <laughs> so let's proceed to the next photo ah uh, yes the best part of waterloo center okay for this photo is simple i just want to share with you all a view or a perspective which i always love whenever i come to waterloo center it's like it feels so great when you see this chest empty so that you can sit down and leap out and chill with your friends or alone to enjoy the breeze you know uh, 
just looking at this photo makes me happy you know even the colors are nice the blue the cyan the browns the yellows the reds <sighs> this is a very quick shot i was turning around and i saw this guy standing in the middle of the two barriers looking up without any second thoughts i just take the photo i just take it bro he, i'm not too sure what he's looking at maybe some of the works going on. i think he's a manager or a supervisor but yeah so for this next shot i can tell you it's purely aesthetics you know i really love how even the walls are the lines the shape the squares you know it's very minimalistic so i just take the shot okay for this photo i just want to show that the hdb is on the right side with the lines dissecting in the middle to show the fortune center is on the left side and it can tell you clearly where this waterloo center is located at so if you can find fortune center you definitely can find waterloo center and i tell you what i really love the colors here you know the brown and the greens side beside i don't know side by side ah, nice really love the colors here okay let's move on i really love how this photo turns out as you can see here i saw a lot of lines you know strong angles square rectangles you know but then on the bottom part of the frame you see trees and leaves that's breaking all the, the shapes and the lines oh, i don't know i just love it yeah. that's where I graduated from Nanyang Academy of Fine Arts, also known as NAFA. Oh man, I miss school. I guess you realize I was trying to be a human tripod by panning my whole body from left to right because I was trying to get a panoramic shot. Oh, I really love how this panorama actually turns out. Oh, awesome, like this panoramic mode it's like flawless yeah but the only one thing is that you can only shoot it in jpeg no raw okay this next photo i find it very interesting because it's a uh, that piece of cloth in malay we call it kain pelekat or keplekat i'm not too sure which one is the right term but it's funny that someone actually ties it on a lamppost i'm not too sure for what purpose but yeah imagine if that cloth is white and that someone ties it higher on top of the lamppost or something i guess someone who's walking at night will get a shock of their life <laughs> okay next shot i would like to apologize to y'all because for the next few photos i do not have the footages of me taking the photos i think i totally forgot to press record or I accidentally press stop or something <sighs> you know sometimes when you are too engrossed on taking the photos you forgot that you are there to record I mean this is like my first time doing all this content creation so I'll try better for now I will continue to talk over the photos without the videos this photo I think represent how I feel about Waterloo Centre you know it's like you're just enjoying the quaintness of the place you know the serenity you know chilling nicely at void deck of Waterloo Centre without thinking of anything I mean I definitely there's a lot of thoughts going on through my mind but I think this photo fits what I feel about Waterloo Centre Maybe I should crop a little bit to clear that, that small little triangle at the bottom right. <laughs> this photo is simple. It's just to show that Waterloo Center is gonna have an upgrade where the lift is gonna service on every floor. 
And another information that you can get from here is that you can see where the sun is setting. So maybe you can plan your shots, all my shots for any projects to come. Okay. I just find this photo interesting is because of those bamboo poles holder. You know, it's like because they are void deck is somewhat five level above ground. So it's like, you know, I do not need to worry if I were to put my clothes out to dry and it fell off from the pole. So I can just, you know, go out and pick it up and put it back onto the pole. <laughs> This photo is straightforward. As you can see here, I'm just trying to show that from Waterloo Center, you can actually see Marina Bay Sands. It's so nice, right? There you can see that's the National Library. And beside it, that's where the Bras Pasa Complex is, you know? Oh man, so cool. I realize when I take photos, the first thing that I look out for are colors. Even though personally, I mean, at least on the video film context, right? I love black and white. But when it comes to photos, I love mostly in colors. But yeah, I do appreciate black and white, but I don't know, just colors gives out or leave the memories stronger, I think. A little story about this photo. You see that uncle there? Yeah. He keep on staring at me whenever I was walking around taking photos, you know. I know, I just feel that he thinks I'm a, some kind of a stranger danger. So I told myself, I, this uncle, I need to take a photo of him for like memory sake or something. But actually my intention of this photo is just to take that church tower or roof in between of the two buildings, you know. But that uncle just stood nicely there. Why not? Okay, on to our last photo. This is the view, man. This is the reminder where I first saw Waterloo Center. Back then, whenever I go home from school, right, I will walk to Bugis MRT Station. And this view right here is always on my right. Whenever I'm waiting at the first traffic light, I just turn my head on the right. There. Waterloo Center sitting nicely for me to look at it. <sighs> How crazy I am, it's just a building. Ah, yeah, I don't know, like, it's just so many things happened last time over at Waterloo Center. And I just love it because it made who I am today. Well, guys, that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching this video right up till the end. So if you enjoyed this video, give a thumbs up you know share me your thoughts on the video or, or about the photos you know or even if you have experience chilling or lipa at waterloo center i'm happy to hear it you know and of course follow me on instagram to see more photos till then and take care